Special Guest Referee is one of the brand new match types that is in WWE 2K24. I've had a blast playing the game so far, and between this and Gauntlet Match, Special Ref is kind of special. And there's a lot you can do with it, and much more than just having a straight up Special Guest Referee match. There's settings and sliders and all kinds of stuff to customize it the way you like. So this is your in-depth guide on how to customize Special Guest Referee in 2K24. When you set up a Special Guest Referee match, every single superstar in the game is going to have their original attire and their referee attire by default. The referee attire is going to be the same across the board. If you don't change anything or customize it like we're going to show you. And it looks pretty good when you do have a referee like Stone Cold Steve Austin in here. But other times it looks a little weird when you have someone like The Rock being the referee. And The Rock looks like he's ready to wrestle because he's got the elbow pads and everything. So one of the new features in 2K24 is the ability to create a ref. And this is very, very straightforward following these steps. When you go in to create your superstar and you pick an existing wrestler like The Rock, or it's going to be your custom created superstar, it could be either one, you click on attire, and then you have at the very bottom there, the different options available. So we can set the portrait, set the manager attire, or set the referee attire. They're allowing you multiple slots within just focusing on The Rock, for your creation and being able to customize what that specific attire is going to look like. So as I hit the trigger for set the referee attire, you see the WWE logo pop up and next to it, it looks like a ring. So the in-ring attire and the WWE logo is the special guest referee attire that you're working on. So if you simply go into edit, you can do whatever you want. If you want to give them just any random attire, it doesn't have to be with the pinstripes for the ref, you do whatever you want, which is great. It's going to default as a special guest referee attire. And within Creation Suite, there are a lot of options. Now, The Rock is a giant man, so some of the ref shirts do look kind of kind of silly on him, but you get all different types of designs that you want in here. So you can go for the sleeveless look, or you can go for short sleeves. What's really fun is finding out all of these different referee shirts, like the NXT one, the blue SmackDown referee shirt is cool. You got longer sleeve ones. You got a retro one with the bow tie. We have ECW. There's a ton of referee shirt options for you to select from. And obviously just in here, you can do some of the basics of just remove the elbow pads, change up the pants if you want. And then when you're all done, just hit save. Now, when you go into play a match and you play a special guest referee match, I go down to the rock. And if I'm selecting him as my special guest referee, pressing anything, the rocks alt attire is going to be the default. So it's automatically going down to my ref attire, which I really appreciate. I don't have to search for it or go from the referee or the original. It goes for my new one. Now, I just did this as a test. You can rename them whatever you want, referee number two, and customize it how you like. You can also do that and change his pose for his menu pose too. And if you want to, you can take it a step further and you can add a render image in there of the rock. So in Community Creations, download an image of the rock that you want and you could upload that. That makes things even more customizable because when you think of in the past, we've had special guest referees of Stone Cold Steve Austin and HBK, and you could actually get those WWE rendered images and use those so you make it more authentic. And you can see with The Rock coming out, it, it looks a lot better than this one that I have side by side of the original one that we played with. So this updated one without the elbow pads and he's got some pants on, it looks way better. And he looks like an actual referee. Now playing the special guest referee match, there are different options for how you're gonna play this. And this is what's really fun about the ref match. You can play it clean, you can play it dirty. You could balance it in between. You could try to do a few shenanigans during your match as a referee, or you could just go crazy and dish out stunners left and right and make it a triple threat essentially. So with any referee match in the options menu and you're setting it up, you can customize all the match options however you feel like. The one that's gonna to pertain to you mostly is gonna be referee meter. You can enable or disable this. If you enable this, this is gonna mean that you're kind of playing it more clean. You're gonna play within the rules of special guest referee match. If you disable it, that HUD is gone and you can do anything you want and you don't have to worry about any ejections or any referee coming down and interfering. You still have all the functionality even if you disable it. So you can do all the rope breaks, quick counts, pins, count outs, warnings, everything you wanna do. Still do a clean match, but you don't have to worry about that meter filling up and then getting a new referee coming down. But we can adjust things a little bit too and I'll show you in a minute. So you can see in this match with Kurt Angle and Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin is the referee 
and you can toggle between referee mode and wrestler mode which is really cool just by pressing the options button and you're just in there doing anything you feel like you can call for rope breaks wherever you want as well so the wrestler could be right in the middle of the ring and you could just hit rope break but what you will find out is that if you're playing it clean that the actual meter is going to go up a little bit you do have to be pretty good at what you're doing. I look more in depth into special guest referee mode. And one of the cool things is if you are trying to play it straight as the referee, you do need to do things like go for pins pretty quickly, not do the slow counts, have like a good pace to your counts, fix the turnbuckles if they get messed up, eject people when you need to. So if you do all of those things in a regular rules based special ref match, you're going to actually perform a lot better and then the meter is going to reward you and all of that. Now, you disable it and you got Austin here and I could go in and I could just dish out chair shots and stunners wherever I want and you're having a great old time and flipping the camera around too with the old Smackdown arena is just a nice touch. But what about customizing the special guest referee match? What are our options? What can we do? We don't have free range here. We can't do Hell in a Cell. We can't do cage matches. And that is a bummer. We can only do straight up one-on-one -on -one matches for special ref. It's still a lot of fun, but it is a limitation. But one of the things that they have added in is within the gameplay settings. If you head over to gameplay settings and you go and toggle to the advanced section, you're gonna see a couple of different options and sub menus where you have time to pin mini game, then you have the submission, then you have special guest referee. So there are five different special guest referee sliders that you can adjust here, which is pretty cool. This will impact different things within the context of the match and how things react to you. So there's bonus for fair actions, which you can adjust. Everything is set as 50% as default. Bonus for fair actions is how much the referee meter increases when the referee performs actions such in a fair manner, such as counting or pinfall at a normal pace. It does not apply to my faction or online. So the better and cleaner ref you are, the bigger the bonus you're going to get during the match and your overall performance that would lessen the chances of you getting a run in from a referee if you cause shenanigans later so you could adjust this how you want i have played with this i don't think that this is too important to your overall match quality but if you want the bonuses even faster just slide this up or if you want to make it probably a little more realistic just turn that down to like 30 40 percent then you have penalty for unfair actions this is how much the referee meter decreases when the referee performs actions in an unfair manner, like counting a pinfall too fast or too slow. And once again, doesn't apply to my faction or online. So you do those really terrible slow pin counts, uh, or you're going to be doing too much of a fast count on outside of the ring for the count of 10, doing all of that is going to decrease your performance. So if you don't want too much of an impact, lower that one down to like 30% and make it a little bit more fair for you. So number three is bonus for good positioning. So you get a bonus in your referee meter and it will go up when you're watching the action closely. You're in good position of the ring. You're counting good pinfall. You're doing your job. You're being a straightforward referee and everyone's happy with you. Uh, Triple H is backstage watching you and he's on the headset saying this guy's fantastic I love him then you got number four which is penalty for inaction and poor positioning which is the opposite so adjust this meter how you like the referee meter will decrease if the referee's too far from the action or failing to check pinfalls so if you're doing what I have done so far I failed to get there and slide in and start counting to three I take too long I, I'm distracted there's lights I'm in an arena I'm up at the entrance ramp for no reason so if you do all of those things then you're gonna get penalized so if you lower this one then you won't be as penalized if it takes you a little bit longer to get to the pin. Then the big one, which is referee replacement countdown duration. This is how long in seconds, so zero to 60, it will take for a replacement ref to arrive after the referee meter has completely emptied. So the ref meter goes all the way down to zero, and then how long is it gonna take for that next referee to come in? So if you put this thing down to one second, it means that as soon as your meter hits zero and it goes empty, then that new referee is instantly gonna come out. If you jack this thing up to 60 seconds, then you will have one minute until a new referee comes down. Why would you do that? Because then you got a little bit more time to hit like another stunner or rock bottom. That's really why. Now, the other thing is that if you are ejected in a match, there is still a window of time where you can be positioned on the outside. So you are not fully ejected from the match. Now you're in almost a manager role. 
you can get in there and if the referee is the new ref is distracted you can get in there and cause more problems if you interfere again too much in the match after you've been ejected as a ref you will be completely ejected from the match and you, you can't come back but you can go in and then you could select a different wrestler if you want and you could participate back in the match as a normal one the other cool thing that they do a special guest referee this year is you have the ability to select in-game referees as the special guest referee if you want to be little nature you actually can in the game male and female side it's a nice touch where you have that variety so if you want to just be a wwe referee you totally can the other one is that you can do mix match so you can have a male referee in female matches and vice versa if i want to have charlotte flair as my special guest referee for austin and the rock I can do that another thing you're going to notice is that if you do a title match and you have allies in the match so if a special guest referee is allied or part of a faction with one of the people in the match they are going to favor them so they are going to slow count they're not going to be wanting to do a regular count and they're going to be more reluctant overall the other cool thing with this is that you will have different title win animations if you do a title match and you have allies in the match one of them being a referee you're gonna see like reluctancy to hand over a belt or you're just gonna get some different cutscene animations for the victory motion which is a really nice touch and then the other piece has to do with how do we customize this match type what are the options available we're a little limited but you can still have a little bit of fun here creating your own custom special guest referee match so if you set up a brand new one under custom match type you can choose this to be kind of fun where you can have pins only submissions only you can make it a two out of three falls match for a special guest referee which i personally like a lot it adds another layer to this whole thing and it makes it harder for the ai and especially if you just turn off eliminations you're not eliminated like it gets really fun that way for two out of three falls and the other one that you can do is make it an iron man match so if you want a 10 minute to 60 minute iron man match and you want to do triple h versus undertaker hbk is the referee 60 minutes go long you can do that that is really really fun we can have disqualifications on or off the rope breaks is normal the ring count can be go from zero to 20. you can do a false count anywhere match and obviously set the time limit as you want the other thing you can do is set up the finishers in the beginning so that your referee is going to be loaded up with finishers depends if you want to do that or not the other the ai's end up with finishers that way too you may not want to do that now with weapons you can get a little creative here because if you really want to you can make this no disqualifications and set the weapon wheel so it's like chairs only so you can do a special guest referee chairs match tables match ladder match so that again you could create all of those different variations of the special guest referee match giving you more variety and more playthrough and the last thing you have to do is go go play go play special guest referee this is a lot of fun guys if you enjoyed this video if it helped you out hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot i will see you on the next one but the next one is actually this one right here for more 2k24 coverage have a great day see ya